So in this problem, we're told to evaluate the indefinite integral you see for the constant of integration of the integral e to the cosine of 32t times the sine of 32t dt. So the first thing that we have to decide since we're using u substitution is what's going to be our u. So in this case, I think the best thing to do would be uh, set cosine of 32t to be u because the derivative of cosine is um, minus sine, right? So that could cancel out with this. So let's do that. So the cosine of 32t is going to be our u. So we got to find the derivative of it first. So the derivative of the cosine of 32t, oh, we have to use the chain rule, right? So the derivative of cosine of 32t, uh, well, we do the outside, right? So minus sine of 32t. Then we got to multiply by the inside. So the derivative of this is going to be equal to minus 32 times the sine of 32t. So now that we got that, uh, what we got to do is solve, or actually let me write it, minus 32 times the sine 32t. Then we multiply by dt. You always got to add that. And then we got to solve for dt. So we can divide both sides by this right here. If we do that, get du over minus 32 times the sine of 32t. Right, so all we do is divide, solve. Cool. So now what we got to do is rewrite our integral. So we have e, and then we replace whatever, so we're going to replace cosine of 32t with u in this case. So we replace uh, e to the cosine of 32t, just write it as e to the u. Then we're multiplying by the sine of 32t. And then we write our replace dt with what we solved for dt to be. So du over minus 32 times the sine of 32t. And so what you should notice is that this sine of 32t will cancel with this one. We still got the minus 32, right? So we got to bring that out front. So it would become 1 over minus 32. Right, because this is basically 1 over, so we're just moving it out front, times e to the u, times du. And so now we got to find the antiderivative of the inside function. So, you know the derivative of e to the u is just e to the u. So, the integral of it, or the antiderivative, is just the same thing. So basically, it's just going to be minus 1 over 32 uh, e to the u, and then we have to add c, right, whenever we... Um, Find the antiderivative, we gotta add c. So what we gotta do now is just replace u with what we chose u to be, and that's gonna be our final answer. So minus one over thirty-two times e raised to the u right, so raised to the cosine of thirty-two t and then plus c. And so this right here is gonna be our final answer.